All right. So you got a version here, uh, and let's call it as master branch. So now mas master branch is something uh, where your production code lies. So let's say you got this specific version. From this specific version, uh, you have a developer. So this is a developer branch. So if your code here is V1, your developer branch, once you copy, so this will be V1 as well. So the same version gets copied. So you create a parallel branch called as develop branch, and then you put in a V1 version. Now there's something, so there are different types of branches here. So one is master. You've got developer. You've got feature branch. And you've also got hotfix branch. Now all these different branches are used for different purposes. Uh, and uh, so the master branch, nobody updates the master branch directly because it's the it's the code which is running into production. So what you do is, if you've got a project, and uh, so what you do, when if you've got a project, you create a developer branch out of it, and then all the developers will be working on the developer branch. So for example, if there's a developer branch and you've got another code change here, let's say we call it as V2. So there's a code change which is done. Your master branch will go like that. Your developer branch goes like that. Now, if there are multiple users, so let me just let me just delete that. So in within any organization, there will not be just one developer, right? So there there can be multiple developers. All these developers will be assigned specific features. So you take this feature here. So now this feature branch also has got a code of V1, right? So this is, which is the replica here. So some changes have been done directly onto the developer branch, which, which a developer is allowed to do. But, but if there are multiple features, so they, they will form a part of the feature branch. So let's say the feature branch has got multiple changes. So which will be here as V3. Let's say there is again a change version four. So these are all the different versions of the files, right? And now, once this version feature branch is done, they would want to merge onto the developer. So what happens is, from whichever branch you are pulling, you'll have to put it back. So if you are pulling it from the master branch, eventually all the changes will be merged onto the master branch here. So if you are pu pulling up the changes from developer branch, so all the changes will have to be eventually merged onto the developer branch as well, right? So, so let's remove that. So let's say you've got a feature branch here, a feature branch, you've got a version four. Now version four is the, let's say, uh, if it is an approved feature, so this version four is now put on here, right? So now this version becomes a match of version two, which was here and version four. So all these changes, so this becomes version five. Okay. Now, this version is now ready to be deployed onto production. So let's say there's an, another version called as some more uh, code changes were done. Uh, there was version six here. Now this version six is now ready to be deployed onto production. So now in the meanwhile, there is a scenario where you've got this master branch, all this development is taking place and all this development, which you see here, all this development is, uh, uh, let's say it takes around four months to, to be done. By that time, your production is already running and then production will also have a, there's a production support, which is already running, right? So production support will not be waiting for six months to, to, to fix anything. Right. So what production support will do is they will create another branch called as a hotfix branch. Right. So let's take right. So what production support will do is they will create another branch temporarily called as a 
let's call as h f1 change right and this is this is by itself is a hot fix so we've got four types of branches now master hot fix developer and feature development is something which goes on for months but this is something which has to be implemented right away in the production so hot fix some problem in production they take the code they change the code here and then they deploy it in production right so so now the point has changed from what, what when this developer branch was created here when this development branch was created here the point has changed now because now the production code is that right so when you are merging your v6 onto if you're trying to merge your v6 onto your master you will have to take into account the changes from hf1 as well so what you will do is you will you will there are two ways to do it one is you put these changes onto v6 or the other one is you you can pull the changes from master first create another version and then you deploy it there so as let's say v7 All right. Uh, now I'll show you this image, which is very similar to what I'm trying to draw. So this is what I tried to draw so, so far. So you've got a you've got a master branch here. Uh, let me full screen, please. Yeah, I'm just doing that. Yeah. So you've got a master branch here with a v, with a v1 version. You've got a developer which is trying to take up this branch. All the same version. Developer is doing some code. There are multiple features. Other developers are working. They're trying to work on their code. Eventually, they merge it back to the development branch. But there has been a change uh, in the production support. There's a hotfix branch created and merged back to the master. Similarly, uh, you've got a release branch. Now, the release branch if you've got multiple developer branch multiple features branch at that point you create a release branch so then you you merge your changes from your development branch onto your release branch and then finally the code is merged onto master